There it is right there. We move on to 1 p.m. Eastern. Las Vegas Raiders, 8-7, and 4-3 and on the road to Indianapolis Colts, 9-6, and 4-4 and at home. Lucas Oil Stadium in Indianapolis, Indiana. Raiders come in off their second straight win, a 17-13 victory at home over the Broncos. Let's see what we are dealing with here in this Raiders-Colts spot. And we know the biggest story here is easily Carson Wentz on the COVID list today. So he needs to be five days. What's the rule again here? He needs to be... If he have a, has a positive test that took place on Monday. So we don't know. But it feels like that's a pretty difficult thing to ask for here. So I imagine, and I would bet on it, that Pinnacle has this off the board. They do. This is not available at Pinnacle with everything going on with Indianapolis. Let's see where the cash is in this spot. We have... 4,577 tickets in, 61% of the tickets and 85% of the cash. And then they're thinking Sammy Ellinger is going to be under center for these Colts. Then from a total perspective, 51% of the tickets are on the over and 72% of cash on the over. Trusty, he isn't vaccinated, but there are new rules out and we'll go over them one more time. But let's break this down. Raiders coming off their second straight win. They held three of their last four opponents to 17 or fewer points, which is surprising. I have not thought of this Vegas team as having a very strong defense since early in the year, really. The Raiders, and even then I wasn't, I was skeptical. The Raiders stopped Denver on third down. Denver goes one of 10 from third down. The Broncos have 158 net yards on offense. 18 yards on the ground is what Denver put up. It's amazing. It's it's amazing that that they could fill the box and that Drew Locke is so bad. I just didn't – look, I know there's a lot of Drew Locke haters that we run with. I just didn't realize he was that bad, that you could fill the box and he still has no chance of beating you. Derek Carr was 28-25 for 201 yards, one touchdown, one interception. He did lose a fumble. Honestly, I – and it, look, he's not going to win it, and I get it. But, but to me, Derek Carr is the MVP of this season. How he's kept this football team together through all this horrific shit is so impressive. Now, clearly, he's not even going to be nominated. His numbers aren't that good or whatever. But to me, he's I've, I've earned so much. He's earned so much respect, and I'm very impressed with how he's handled everything. With Darren Waller still out, they're still going to tight ends nonstop. Uh, Foster Moreau, four catches for 67 yards. Hunter Renfro, three catches for 40 yards and a touchdown. Zay Jones caught six passes for 50 yards. Josh Jacobs looked like his old self. 27 carries, 129 yards. He did lose a fumble. They got two sacks, three quarterback hits, but they have an ever-growing COVID list. Cornerbacks Brandon Faxon and Roderick Teamer. Wide receiver Brian Edwards. Quarterback Marcus Mariota. Cornerback Casey Hayward. Linebacker Corey Littleton. Linebacker Denzel Perryman. Linebacker Kyle Wright. Defensive tackle Darius Fillon. Linebacker Patrick Onwasor and guard Jermaine Elamunor all on it. Will Compton, Darren Waller, and defensive tackle Jonathan Hankins were all inactive last week and are questionable this week. So we have the Colts issues with Carson Wentz, who could play, but I don't, I doubt it. Like he's going to have a positive test, or a negative test, excuse me, on Monday. Colts coming off a very impressive 22-16 road win in Arizona. They won three straight, 6-7. Wentz was 18-25 for 225 yards, two touchdowns, no interceptions. Michael Pittman Jr. caught eight passes for 82 yards. T.Y. Hilton, four catches for 51 yards and a touchdown. Jonathan Taylor, 27 carries for 108 yards. He came into the game as the NFL's leading rusher with 1,518 yards on the ground, 400 more than Joe Mixon at number two. The offense moved the ball despite missing three offensive linemen due to COVID. Then they lose Eric Fisher, their left tackle, and tight end Jack Doyle late in the first half. So then they have four of their offensive linemen out. They they couldn't get pressure on Kyler Murray, but they played strong despite being without defensive captain Darius Leonard, who was out due to COVID. Zero sacks, no quarterback hits. Chris Reed had a back injury. He left in the second quarter. Ryan Kelly was out for the third straight week due to personal reasons. Their COVID list is ridiculous. Rock Yassin. Defensive end Kamoko Ture, guard Mark Lewinsky, guard Quentin Nelson, linebacker Darius Leonard, wide receiver Zach Pascal, safety Kerry Willis, running back Marlon Mack, safety Jaleel Ade, cornerback TJ Carey, linebacker Malik Jefferson, offensive tackle Braden Smith, quarterback Carson Wentz. Now, Andrew Sandejo, inactive last week, list is questionable this week. He would help nice safety. And Paris Campbell is practicing and hopes to return. Bebzy, I don't know how you make find clarity with this Colts team that's not doesn't have their quarterback 
but I don't see how Wentz is going to be available right now. It's off the board at Bet365. It's off the board at Pinnacle. This is off the board here at Circa. No, it's not. But the Raiders, wow. The Raiders are six and a half point dogs. And you can bet that right now. Unbelievable. Take it away here, Bevzy. I'm surprised it's not completely off the board. And I don't know how you can honestly bet this with the COVID question marks on both sides. Uh, so I, I'm staying away from it for now. With If there's six and a half on the board, I mean, I think I would take the Raiders and the points if you put a gun to my head. Um, but listen, the I, I don't know how much stock we can put into them beating – the Broncos last week because Drew Locke is terrible. And I, I, I don't know if you saw, I raised my hand when you were talking about Drew Locke haters uh, in the chat and on the show. Uh, I can't, I, I think he's horrible. And so I'm not putting much stock into that. Uh, I have to look more at what the Raiders have done for the second half of the season. It's not much. So I understand, especially with how, uh, incredible the Colts have been playing uh but again you, you can't bet this game until you know who's playing I think this game probably ends up uh being postponed till Monday or possibly even Tuesday maybe not given the the lateness of the season uh but I can see it being pushed to Monday at least with with such a laundry list of COVID on both sides of this uh this game the NFL let's not pretend they care about their players. They care about their product. And with all those guys out that, uh, that certainly weakens the show for them. So I, I, it, for me, it's a pass until we know who's playing. I'm surprised that you can bet the Raiders plus six and a half right now uh, with a $5,000 limit. So even like they, they, they'll put $500 and thousand dollar limits on their college games. But five thousand dollar limit, I'm surprised. Uh, I'm very surprised. I mean, oh, th- what are your expectations of Ellinger if he's a, un- under center? Uh, someone in the chat said it beautifully. How hard is it to pass off to Jonathan Taylor? Uh, no, if Ellinger is is in, I, I think the Raiders stack the box, do everything they can to shut down Jonathan Taylor as they did to Devonta last week. Um, and so it, it's going to be on Ellinger to make passes and I, I have low expectations. So, um, another reason why I, I would wait and see who's playing quarterback. Um, but I honestly think it, I truthfully believe, go ahead, put all the money you want on this. Cause it's, it's, it's going to get taken off anyways, cause this game's going to get moved. Yeah, if it switches dates, you lose your bet. Or you, you don't lose your bet. Sorry, they, it voids your bet if they switch dates. But, huh. Very, very interesting. Uh, Bernie says Raiders at a TD is a must play, in my opinion. I'm not waiting if, if I can get a TD at any of my books. Yeah, I'm surprised. Let's just see if FanDuel has this up. Be interested to see this, and then we'll just move right on. So we do know that one book, yeah, FanDuel, six and a half. So FanDuel and Circa not scared here. I don't really see how you could. Yeah, I like I like the six and a half. I, I think the six and a half makes sense for the Raiders, although it's not available to me. I do not think that. I really do not think that. Carson Wentz has already had a negative COVID test. If he's just tested positive unless it was a false positive uh i'm going to see what the raiders become available for me at so i'll leave a couple question marks there okay nuke says even if it doesn't get moved it's the last last minute decision for me i get that 